Hi everyone, and thanks so much for joining me for this next video. As you can see here in my hands, I have a big chunk of resin. And so what I ended up doing is taking some bark off of some old uh, firewood, some hickory. And I took that bark, I put it onto the bandsaw and cut it up into small pieces and then put it in a bucket and poured this resin on top of it. Now, this is about 64 ounces of actual resin inside this bucket. Um, well, that's how it was poured. And as you can see, this green color contrasts with that wood. So the idea is, is when we start turning this, that hickory is going to start coming through the edges of this wood and be really interesting. So I think it's going to be a fun project. I'm going to get it on the lathe and we're going to start turning this project right now.
Okay, so I've got this completely sanded down. And what you'll notice in here, and you may not be able to see it really well right now, we've got one little small thermal crack that's right down in here. And then we've got some voids that um, were basically natural to the uh, wood that we put into the piece. I'm not so concerned about those. But there are a few little uh, pockets, little holes um, that basically, I guess they were air bubbles, if you will, um, that were in the resin. Nothing major. Um, we can go in with some brown CA so that it matches the wood and fill that with some brown CA and I think it'll really clean it up. Now, there's a big one that's right here and I'm not really going to deal with that one, I don't think. I don't... I haven't decided yet, but I may go ahead and put some brown CA in it. I'll see how it looks once we get to that point. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much sanded uh, down to like 180, and I don't really want to go any further until I get these uh, pieces fixed because I'm going to have to go back and do some more sanding on it. So let me get uh, you know finished with that stuff, get that done, and then we'll start... Uh, the finishing process and we're getting close to the end of this it looks really good I love this green with the brown I think it you know that's going to really look nice when we put some finish on it so stick around with me and we're going to keep working on this project all right so we're going to get started with the finishing process um, by starting with a little bit of denatured alcohol uh, we're going to go ahead and put a little bit of this and you know, on a rag and wipe this down just to get all the dust off of this. And we'll get a little bit of a snapshot of what this is going to look like when we get the finish on. Now, we still need to put some denatured, or I'm sorry, some uh, sanding sealer on this because of the wood. Um, and then we'll sand that back and we'll start with our resin uh, coating in just a few minutes. But right now, I just want to get this dust off of this. And of course, you can see what this is going to look like it's really beautiful um you know keep in mind guys this uh this is simply some bark that i took off of um you know an old piece of firewood cut it up into pieces put it into a bucket and uh, added this resin to it and it is a lot of fun and you come up with some really beautiful pieces as you can see here very very nice um, yeah once we get all of this dust off of here of course that's going to allow us to and you can see it here on the rag we need to make sure we get as much of that off as possible uh, before we actually start you know putting our resin on but I'll mix the resin up here in a few minutes and we'll start adding that now once that dries down overnight we'll come back to it and uh, put our finish on it in the morning all right just wanted to real quickly just kind of give you a little snapshot here uh, i'm putting the sanding sealer on this just to seal this wood up and you can see what this piece is going to be um, like once we get our finish on this gives you a really good snapshot of that finished piece and you can see this sanding sealer now the sanding sealer is a really important stage um, because it's going to sand uh, or seal this wood so that when we put our finish on, it's going to sit on that wood really well and not soak it up so much. Because um, basically we just want a light coat of resin on this. We don't necessarily want something that's going to be super heavy. And we'll come back the next morning or tomorrow morning and we'll sand it with some 220 grit and get it ready. Um, to put our final finish, which will be our satin that we put on a lot of pieces. Um, but yeah, this came out really nice. I'm super happy with it. Um, hey, go down in the comments. Give me some feedback on this. What do you think about it? Do you like the color? Do you like the combination of wood with it? Um, these projects are super fun uh, to do. And, you know, just use your imagination. I mean, all the different types of wood that's out there all the scraps you have laying around in your shop. Um, there's tons of opportunity to do some really cool things. So I'm gonna let this dry down and then we'll come back and we'll hit it with some steel wool and start putting our resin on. Stick around. 
All right, so this is all sanded back with some steel wool after I put the uh, sanding sealer on it. And as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's very slick and it's very beautiful. Um, I mixed up 18 grams of resin. As you can see, it was very, very little. Um, and we're just gonna put a very light coat over this whole piece and just get this. And you can see I mixed the um, denatured alcohol with the resin and it's gonna give us a very, very thin coat that's gonna go right over top of this. Um, and then we're gonna do the entire piece with it. Uh, like I said, the sanding sealer is gonna seal this wood really well. It's not gonna take very much resin um, on this surface, you know, to do what we're trying to do. And that'll give us a very strong, very beautiful finish. And we'll let this, like I say, set overnight, and then we'll come back to it tomorrow and, um, and be able to, you know, add our finish after we sand it. So this is going to be very nice. You can see there, that's a really good snapshot of what it's going to look like. And I'll go over this with my brush just to make sure that any resin that needs to get down into that wood, we will, you know, make sure we add enough in those areas that need a little extra. Yeah, this is a fun project. Very, very easy to do. If you haven't done any resin, get you a gallon and try it out. It's really a lot of fun. And you come up with some very beautiful pieces like you see here. I love it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's different than just turning brown and round. And you get some really cool effects. So I'm super happy with this. And I will say this, if you're a turner that does any kind of craft shows um, or you sell your work, these sell really well. People love these things. And this bowl is very beautiful. And, and you know, of course, they're always one of a kind, right? They're never going to be the same. There's only going to be one of them. Even if I took wood and did this very, you know, process with the wood and the green, it still would be a different bowl. I went ahead and put a couple of coats on this. So we're going to go ahead and buff this real quick. Um, we're just going to buff the outside of it really lightly with this piece of cotton rag. Just come in here and just get the inside. Now I'm not pressing on this very hard. I'm just lightly going over the surface. Just kind of buffing that finish out a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and put our third coat on this. And you know, like I said, and have used many times before is the death product and it's in the satin. So we'll go ahead and just put a very light coat on this. And do the outside. And like I say, this is the third coat that I've done. And it is the final coat. So once this dries down, we will buff this and we will be done. So stick around with me. We'll take a look at the finished piece very shortly. Okay, well, we got this bowl completely finished and I am super happy with the end result. Now, I ended up not putting my coin in the bottom. It is a little bit thin in the bottom and I just didn't want to take a chance of possibly going through uh, and ruining you know, this piece. I can always put a sticker on it. It's no big deal. It'll be just fine. But let me bring it up and just kind of give you a quick little once around here. And I will have some beauty shots on this uh, here in a minute. So stick around for those. But yeah, this wood looks beautiful with this green. It came out really, really nice. Here's the interior of the bowl, as you can see there. Very beautiful. And then of course, the bottom, very nice. It came out really well. So I'm super happy with it. I'd love to get your feedback on it. Please go down into the comments and give me some comments. I'd you know, really enjoy uh, reading your comments and I'd love to hear what you have to say about this project. If you're not a subscriber to the channel, please consider subscribing. We're gonna be doing a lot of really cool projects in the coming days and weeks. And I'd love to have you here for all of those new projects. So with that said, Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.